So the United States has a new problem when it comes to migrants entering the United States. Before we'd see them enter through Texas. Well, Texas shut them down. They stopped that. Then they were going to Arizona. Well, things have gotten a little more complicated, so now they're going to California. Guess what? California and even Border Patrol agents on the border of Mexico and California, they are stopping them now too. So you know what they're doing? Well, they're using boats. And in just a moment, I'm going to show you what some are saying it was a pretty scary incident where a speedboat goes right up on shore and dozens of people jump out of the boat and run up and get in vehicles and then get out. This is what we are now facing. This, this new event happened in San Diego. San Diego was not, you know, has not seen this before. This is something you see in Florida, not in California. So I want to break down what happened, show you the exact video and explain why this is troubling for us here in the United States. So make sure you stick around for this entire video. All I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds. Go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So if you have seen the news, then you know exactly what happened, but I want to clarify some things. Look at this. It says crisis in California, migrant chaos on San Diego area beaches. Pretty scary. Local officials say it says San Diego area leaders call on feds to bolster border security after latest migrant boat landed, uh, landing caught on camera. Now, if you've been watching my channel for, you know, a few months, First off, thank you for doing that. But the one thing I want to say is that I told you this was happening months ago. I said that there were reports that people would, would swim out into the ocean or they, there would be a boat that takes them out into the ocean. That boat would leave them there. They would just be there floating. The boat would drive off and a new boat from the U.S. side would go over like a fishing boat, go over, pick them up, bring them back over to the United States, back over to like, you know, closer to shore. And there, there would, that's where they would see jet skis come out. They would pick up all the people from the boat and they would take them to different locations. That's what we were seeing. That's what we have been seeing. And now I want to show you this because this is the new reality of the situation that we're in. Look at this. This speedboat is just speeding up on the shore. There's a little kid right there. This speedboat almost hit a surfer, okay? Look at the people just jump out. Here they go. Look at all those people still jumping out of the boat, okay? I want to show you another video, okay? This one is from a little bit after that. Look at this one, okay? Here they are. They're just running, running up to shore. The reason why? There's cars up there waiting for them that will take them to wherever they need to go. That is the problem, okay? And again, we just saw the Biden administration allocate $45 million out of $300 million to California to help them with this migrant search. Do you think situations like this, where people are jumping off of a boat, running up to shore, do you think this deserves another $45 million? Well, California says yes. But at the same time, California, who has a little bit of a budget crisis, has already allocated you know, millions of dollars, billions of dollars actually, to free health care to low income migrants coming into the United States. So is this should this be on the, the United States taxpayers? Should this be on you and I who don't even live in California? That's the question. But according to the Biden administration, the answer is yes. And I bring this up because this is not going to be the last time we see this. Hey, we are going to see this for a while. I want to read this to you as well. Look at this. It says border patrol agents were notified by police that the boat came ashore at around 11 a.m. on Saturday and found an abandoned vessel consistent with human smuggling. Now, I want to be very clear on something. Border patrol agents were notified by police at about 11 a.m. Shouldn't border patrol agents have some type of security in the water, especially when Tijuana and San Diego are right there. They're, they're, 
right there next to each other. Shouldn't we have a little more security? Now all that's going to happen is people are going to start going through the ocean. And I said this was going to happen. I told you, I showed you different reports on this months ago. But here's the scary part. There's people that cross the Rio Grande and lose their life because they, they drowned. The Rio Grande is not that deep. The Rio Grande is not that scary. The ocean, on the other hand, we could see bodies washing up on shore in San Diego very soon because people can't swim. The ocean is just too rough on them. Okay, Maybe, maybe there's a riptide. We don't know. But that is another concern. But what's interesting about this, and I, I think, and I want to show you this, because, and, and I've been reporting on this, this migrant crisis for some time, but here's what's happening. Every single location that you look into is pretty much at capacity. Even this, look at this, this is from the New York Post. It says migrants thank Biden for letting them in as U.S. Border Patrol's San Diego processing centers reach an eye-popping 245% capacity. San Diego's over capacity, but yet people continue to go to San Diego for the weather, the free healthcare, shelter, food, right? The possibility of getting a job. Because if you look at California as a whole, there are so many possibilities, especially when it comes to uh, agriculture, and especially this time of the year. So the concern moving forward is we have not seen the last of this immigration crisis. Experts believe this immigration crisis is just starting. And this could pretty much go out of control and surge if President Biden wins his second term. If former President Donald Trump wins or possibly somebody else, the concern there is migrants are going to try to enter into the United States as fast as possible, disperse, get out so that hopefully the the Trump administration or whatever administration is in will not find them and send them back to whatever country they came from. So we'll see what happens moving forward. All I can tell you right now is this, this boat issue where a speedboat just drives right onto shore, speeds right past the surfer and almost hits them. This might be the new normal here in the United States where now we are not just protecting the border and using a border wall. Now we might need more border patrol agents on the water to ensure that the water and the beaches are safe, especially in San Diego. So we'll see what happens moving forward. All I can tell you is I will be here every step of the way. I'll fill you in on all the latest news and updates. But as of today, that is what we know. Please do me a favor. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Do you think the Biden administration is doing enough to protect the United States, protect our benefits, and protect the people? Or do you think there needs to be a change? Let me know down in the comment section below. But again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.